like how close we are to these rocks, so we're gonna motor motor towards the anchor. We're not sure if it makes more sense to try to go out and re-anchor in this wind, or now that we're holding, if we stay on watch. How are you doing, babe? It's closer than I'd like to be. Welcome to Sailing Instead, our story in two words. We are Jenna and Charlie, and together we are chasing our wildest dream inspired by our first date, sailing on a lake in our home province of Alberta. With a new shared interest and wanderlust building, we decided now was the time to pursue an alternative lifestyle. We'd become full-time cruisers living and traveling on our sailboat. We found this rundown 30-foot sailboat from 1975, and for almost two years, we worked tirelessly to make it our new tiny floating home. After 611 days and two more Canadian winters, we decided no more waiting. We would start our voyage and continue fixing the boat on the go. Come aboard and share in our adventure as we document everything along the way, the highs, the lows, and everything in between. Well, at least we got off those rocks. I'd say like now. Well, let's get a little bit more distance into the wind, okay? Put it in neutral. How's our depth? Looks like 53. Okay. Okay, can you put it in reverse? You can turn the engine off. You sure? Yeah. I ripped my hand open, babe. On what? This rope, I think. Are we holding? It's just paying out now. Well, you now you know what it's like to re-anchor in 30 to 40k winds. Feel a little better about that? Yeah, but... So a little, like... I hope this works. <laughs> we yeah, need to, this has got to like, work. Oh, wasn't that exciting. Oh, sail grip anchor alarm. If we didn't have you, I'm not sure what we would have done here. Yeah. I think this is a true testament to sail grip. We stayed in this circle pattern for a couple of days, and then tonight we were blown way out on this zigzag pattern towards these rocks, and it was no nonsense. We had to get up and re anchor. Doesn't look like we got a, as far off as we would have liked, but. We're definitely a lot better off and it feels like we're holding important lessons learned about bridles and stern ties and high winds and you can only manipulate your boat so much. What are you yawning for? Tired. Why are you so tired? tired. It was a long five five nights at Metal Bay. Yeah. Get much sleep. We've been rocking back and forth nonstop. And we couldn't be happier, like a bad dream. One day you just wake up and it's all over. There's still a little swell coming in, but the wind and rain has stopped. The sun is out and we are getting out of here. Where are we going? Where are we going? And we're off to Henry Bay. We're leaving Nettle Bay because it's horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. It's been a rough few days and we're excited. We're moving somewhere different. We're leaving. Yay. Making a copy for the room. How are you doing, Cappy? Yeah, just uh, we just drove a circle around our anchor. The sea lions are 
waiting to say goodbye. They've come to see us off. Goodbye, sweet Nuttall Bay. See ya never. We're motoring, but we've got a little bit of wind coming from behind us, which has got our flag starting to fly forwards, which looks uh, pretty strange to the brain. Oh, come on, flag. Anyways, the wind also from our rear is causing our exhaust to come up, coming up into the cockpit, which makes for a pretty stinky ride. Hoping that the wind's gonna shift here or we'll have to maybe adjust our course. We're a third of the way. Maybe not three hours then yet, two and a half hours. Someone sailing by, going south. And we're just getting into the rain, heading north. As we're starting to approach the channel between Vancouver Island and Denman Island, winds picked up. It's blowing. There's a ferry, a cable ferry that runs in between Denman and Vancouver Island. We're going to need to watch out for and uh, make sure we have a green light on the shore crossing terminals uh, before we proceed. We haven't put ledges on the kitchen yet. Far from having a gimbal. Jen is brave enough to make us some lunch in there while we're underway. Let's see how it's going. How's it going? Thanks, baby. So it's overfilling. Lunchtime. Yum. Sapporo Ichi Ben. Cup of soup. Make my day. Jenna relaxing in the sun in her tube in front of her first British Columbian lighthouse. This lighthouse is located on the southern point of Denman Island. You think those are girl birds or boy birds? Probably boys. Boy birds. <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> Just approaching the cable ferry here on Denman. The next sailing's in about 10 minutes. So instead of racing it, I think we're just gonna get a little closer, see what time it is. And if they're still green, we'll power through. But if it's changing to red, we'll just do a loop because they'll only take a few minutes to cross the channel, 10 minutes until it should be green light again. We're just here uh, waiting for the Denman Cable Ferry to finish its crossing. We just wanted to give a big shout out. Huh? It's green. It's green? Yeah. I was gonna give a big shout out to our patrons, but the light's green and we don't have any. Just pulling into Henry Bay. We're just doing our U-turn to anchor into the wind.
need to get some proper anchoring gloves. This is just repeat of Nettle Bay stings. Okay, we're here. That's from my old man. It's still working, but it's full of fog. Thanks, Pop. Thanks, Murray. Gonna have a look at it tonight, see if we can get it cleaned out and use it properly tomorrow for our transit over to Chrome and Comox. We're in Henry Bay. It's more of a, they say it's more of a bite than a bay, but uh, we're here. There's a few cottages and stuff. Um, and then there's this long spit of land that at low tide you can walk two miles towards Comox. So we're anchored in, protected a bit from the north, and of course it's blowing lightly from the south. Tomorrow we'll make the one hour trip over to Comox, hour, hour and a half. There's a few marinas in Comox. We're gonna see about uh, getting some work done on the boat and Take a shower, get a tattoo that says Comox 2022. Get a CJ tattoo, power, and the transducer plugs are both underneath. And this guy lifts right off. Come on, baby. I can take it apart. Chicken, rice, dinner's served. Henry Bay, we've got wind, we've got sun, we've got the moon. Sunset, calm as a lake. And there's Comox off in the distance. 6.56, we're up. We're gonna just start the boat. It was down to five degrees in here overnight, so it was quite a chilly morning. 0 0.5 degrees outside, and the moon is just setting over Comox. So we're gonna get her started and make some coffee, pancakes, and then uh, make the motor over, I'm trying to leave around eight. So, see how we do. My seat's all frozen. Surrounded in seagulls. What do you say, babe? 10, 12,000? That's a lot of birds. 